This is Short Attention Spin with Laura Menino. Menino and welcome to Short Attention Spin. If you were too busy going on a, oh, I said something awful, apology tour to keep up with the news, well, here's what happened this week. Well, footage was released of Justin Bieber using a racial slur during the filming of his documentary, Never Say Never. In response, Bieber's follow-up film will be titled, Never Say N well, everything is bigger in Texas except their penises. Restaurant chains and Texas municipalities are creating new rules against carrying assault rifles in public since the gun advocacy group Open Carry Texas has been scaring the shit out of people. You know you're an asshole when Texas, a state known for executing the mentally disabled, is like, dude, take it down a notch. Well, after unveiling a plan to cut power plant carbon emissions by 30 percent, President Obama has been accused by the coal industry of waging a war on coal and by Fox News on waging a war on Christmas. Racehorse California Chrome lost his bid to win the Triple Crown by coming in fourth place at the Belmont Stakes, and its owner, Wilford Brimley, got his diabetes all up in a twist about it during a post-race interview. Looks like someone is not getting his oatmeal for a while. Well, three men escaped a Canadian prison by helicopter. Canadian officials described the men as extremely dangerous and extremely rude for not handing out earplugs to the guards before escaping, very un-Canadian-like. And finally this week, the show Homeland was rebooted with a whole new cast. Well, that was this week in the sixth episode of Short Attention Spin. Join me next week for my Who Dramatically Writhed on the Ground Best World Cup Recap. In the meantime, you can watch previous episodes here. Follow me on Twitter at Laura Menino, visit WeMakeMovies.org, and subscribe to WMM Originals for more comedy, shorts, filmmaking interviews, podcasts, and more. I'm Laura Menino, and thanks for watching.